Welcome to Droppy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. <laughs> What's going on here? Why, <laughs> why do you sound miserable right now? Because uh, this challenge made me miserable. Oh, no. <laughs> I had a bad time. I you hated this time. challenge. Karina and I hated this. Oh, I hated God. it. <laughs> How are you expected to do Blender in 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> You're not expected to, but you have hinted as to what the challenge is today. It was a 30 minute timed speed draw challenge. I thought it would be fun and I was wrong. Yeah, you were to, wrong. Enemy timer. To test how much we could get done in 30 minutes trying to make a completed piece in that time. I, I take it everyone was miserable. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, th I, you know, I was about as miserable as all these challenges made me. Is, <laughs> but it was nice because it was shorter. So the misery was not protracted. I was just like, you know, it's gonna be, wow. it's gonna be what it is. The truth come out. Nathan hate challenges. <laughs> Nathan hates drawing. This is this is me hating. Yeah, this is the general level of misery that I feel yeah. all the time. It's still very jovial. Yeah, it's not too bad. Life is life is pain and suffering. What's up? <laughs> well, Nathan, why don't we start with your misery? Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to go first. I would love to. Uh, do you have any preface you wanna you wanna say about this? I did a dinosaur lie. You did a dinosaur. Oh, one of Nathan's dinosaur oh, lies. I did. I did a dinosaur lie. Book. One yeah. for the books. I I thought that'd be fun. That uh, is that's, fun. That's all. That's all I got. We can get it started. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna count you in. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So you know, I I was I thought. What's something that I can draw kind of quick? It's a it's a Jurassic Park style dinosaur. Yeah. That's what I spent my time drawing in my youth. It's in there. I don't need like reference or anything. I can just sort of just sort of make a a fun image that looks like kind of cool. And so that's what I did. I drew a little dinosaur, no feathers on this dinosaur. It's a lie dinosaur, a dinosaur from my youth. <laughs> <laughs> these so, lives when Nathan was a child. So all these dinos that we've been seeing our whole lives are like plucked chicken versions of dinos? Yeah, and also they like have no fat on them. It's just like skin tight wow. muscle wrapped around bone. I also gave this one extra spikies because I was like, it's already a dinosaur lie. Let's give him extra spikies. Yeah, make him an aesthetic dinosaur lie. Yeah. You know? Drag. The spikes, none of the spikes <laughs> show up in the fossils, but they're there. Yeah, they're they skin. Were, they're skin spikes. These are skin spikes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Fleshy spikes. Um, so they're yeah, not I for spent... battle, they're for pleasure. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're just they're for fashion. This is a fashion dino. <laughs> Uh, I think I spend about half of my time sketching and inking and then just sort of go into a mad panic when it comes time to color. Yeah. I think that's a trend that yeah. you'll find throughout all of ours. Yeah, sounds familiar. Yeah. I, I should mention this was a second attempt. Um, I tried I tried to do one before and did not uh, did not finish. And so I was like, okay, I need to close my lines. I was like, <laughs> The first time I did this, I tried to do a more like a looser inking style because I thought that would save time, but it ended up taking about as long, but then it just made the coloring take too long and yeah. I ran out of time. So for this one, I was like, I'll do it a looser inking style than I normally do, like a little bit more wiggly and less smooth, but I did make sure to close my lines because I learned from my first attempt. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think it. I think it is beautiful. Dinosaur lies are beautiful. I think it's going to be interesting in this challenge for people watching because they get to see so much of the process. Yeah, it's yeah, really it goes true. slow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just me doodling, doodling a dino. You can really usually... see the amount of time we spend on one line. Just like <laughs> this isn't it. This isn't it. This isn't it. Here we go. Yep. And this is a, 
again, this is a, a much less precious inking process than I normally do. Cause I was like, I've got to just, I got to just go. Oh yeah. I feel that my, my inking on mine is wild style. <laughs> <laughs> this was a little bit of a wild style challenge. Yeah. Cause when you got to you... go, you got to go, you got to get something out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, I was like, it's so late at night. I need to go to sleep. And so <laughs> late this one, this it? one, this one has to be the one, you know, I didn't know this was a late night dino. This is a late night dino. This, that's when all the best dinosaur lies come out. <laughs> late night dino lie during the witching hour. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are dino- asleep. Bring out the dinosaur lies. <laughs> we can tell as many as we want. Um. Yeah, just, you know, maybe I like this line quality. By the way, I know Thank you said you. It's, it's a real wild style one, but I like it. It kind of the fact that it's a little rough kind of lends itself credence to the the dino texture. It came out so clean. Yeah. 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 Well, it it did. This is more than half. It turns out of the of the process is is the, just the drawing, and then I'm like, oh, it's, this has to be a completed piece. What do I, what am I doing here? So I've wasted so much time. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna see uh, the background I go with is a, a circle or <laughs> an, an oval. Classic. And then I was like, "What? Well, let's do some fun colors. Let's do like a bubblegum sort of dino." Aww. All right. This is what taking Pepto feels like after you know hour two <laughs> of suffering. Is this is this Pepto <laughs> dino comes in and and. <laughs> Lays down the law. The, yeah. the nausea. Eats the pain. Yeah, if anyone <laughs> from Pepto wants to use this as their new yeah. mascot, get at me. Feel free. <laughs> Droppy's the new face of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> Dinosaur lies, but antacid truths. Oh. Nathan, I'm just proud of you that you got to do any shading at all, which is 100% more shading than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you can choose shading or background. Choose one. I chose neither. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Option well, I'm, C. I'm very excited to see what you came up with. So, <laughs> yeah, it just, you know. It's just abstract shapes, in. Jacobs. He went for an abstract art. Wow. <laughs> A lot of use of the shape tool. Yeah. yeah. So you know, just chunking in some shading. And then Damn. checking checking my stopwatch, like oh oh god, oh okay, that's <laughs> oh, heck. let's let's real quick, let's make the the eye and teeth slightly lighter, and then let's add a background, and I you know there's the oval, <laughs> there's like the, the oval spotlight, oh, an old friend, you know make the Whoa. make the shading a little bit cooler. The yellow and, and the black background is exactly a Tintin cover. So this, this is, is a Tintin like, cover. This is, this the is new my issue of Tintin. <laughs> this is the Pepto Bismol sponsored Tintin episode <laughs> where they fight the antacid dinosaur. <laughs> Classic. And then you can see, yeah, I'm just I'm just adjusting the colors here. And nice. at the very end, I I think maybe I have time to like mess around with a gradient, and you will see that I uh, I I'm just my timer goes off, and I'm like, oh, never mind. Here, here I go. There it is. <laughs> Maybe no, no, nope, never mind. Nope, Forget it. it. We're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. Uh, so this is my dinosaur lie. Great work, oh, it's Nathan. Such a fun wow. dino. A classic. Yeah. I think I want to ask minutes. people who each of you, as we go through this, I figure this could be an educational moment for people watching. Mm-hmm. If you got to get done something fast. What's what's your piece of advice? What's your piece of learning from doing this? Close your lines. <laughs> close yeah. your lines. Main main difference between attempt one and two, close your lines so you can use the, the dang fill and, and have expand fill on your action bar. Make that action. It's a good action. Take action. Take action. To expand fill. And uh, <laughs> a background can be an oval. That's... <laughs> I gave three. Those are three advice. <laughs> Those are great advice. Uh, awesome work, Nathan. I love this dino. Yeah. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm going to go next. Okay. I'm excited to see your abstract art. It's two squares <laughs> and a rectangle. Uh. <laughs> uh, no, I actually, I, I ended up liking mine quite a bit, um, even though there's like lots of problems with it that I didn't have time to address. But mostly I really wanted a reason to draw Orville Peck. And so I drew Orville Peck for this. Nice. Um, cool. A very stylized version. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and start it here. Three, two, one, go. So I, I do waste a few seconds right at the beginning. I see wow. this. Nothing <laughs> has cl- happened. The uh, clock is running and you're just sitting there. So here we go. I start off with a thumbnail because I wanted it to have kind of like a, thumbnails? like a dynamic pose. The thumbnails are allowed, but um, it's included They're, in the time. Yeah, it's included yeah. in the time. So I wanted like a like sort of a dancey dynamic pose, like he's in the middle of a twirl or a dance, something like that. Um, so I wanted to try and use the thumbnail to nail down what this pose would be uh, before I started like committing to it. So That's it, smart. I should do that more. I think it helps a lot in this. You start with a thumbnail. You end up with such a nice composition. Yeah, because it helped me also figure out what I wanted like equal blank space on the top right and the bottom left. Yeah, the negative space looks really nice already. So I got to fit him in there. Then I jumped straight into a refined sketch. This was when I remembered that cowboy hats are the hardest objects on <laughs> yeah, earth to depict. Yeah, that was a pretty bold choice. <laughs> I've never learned the proper way to draw a cowboy hat. They don't make any sense. No one ever has. Yeah, not that I know of. Karina's from Texas and still hasn't mastered the cowboy hat. I spent years drawing McCree Overwatch. I made an entire film in college that was a Western and I still don't know how to draw a cowboy hat. <laughs> I don't know what they are. It's truly a wild thing. Yeah. Um, but I end up getting it like good enough <laughs> for this. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it looks like what it is. Yeah. If you if you examine it too closely, you'll realize that it doesn't make any That it is in fact a fedora. <gasps> <gasps> no. Sinner. <laughs> What are cowboy uh, hats if not fedoras of the West? Wow. I, I disagree that's profoundly with this. Yeah, that is quite, that's a Jacob level take. Yeah. Fedoras of the West. You're, this is the most controversial take we've ever had on dropping. I yeah. can't Julia. wait for the Twitter DMs. <laughs> cowboy contingent coming out against you. You have insulted generations of cow folk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we're pretty far into this, and I still haven't started inking, which is bad for me. <laughs> um, yeah. And I've still like... yet to do my horizontal flip, which I do. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't do one of those in mine. No time. I, feel I felt like you like... didn't need it. Yeah, it's I don't think. It's still a dinosaur. You, you, knew, you know how to draw dinosaurs so yeah. well that I don't think it needed it. But I, this was a pose I just made up whole cloth out of my brain. So I'm like, probably something is wrong with it. And I don't even know what's wrong with it yet. Oh, when he's flipping back and forth, yeah. it looks like he's doing a jig. <laughs> he is doing and a this little is jig. The, the rest of the 30 minutes is just you flipping him. <laughs> <laughs> make the man dance. Yeah. So I, I flip it. I make the torso a little longer because I always have a tendency to shorten the torse accidentally. And uh, I think I raise that one low arm up a bit. Do you draw his many rings? I didn't get any rings in this. Wow. wow. <laughs> Do you truly like Orville Peck? I didn't if have If you time. didn't put a ring on it? There's Jesus no time. Christ. You're such Jacob. a fake fan. No, stop. <laughs> Everybody stop. Uh, I just Ooh. want to point out that I'm, I'm inking with the animator pencil as per Karina's way. Wow. Oh. I love um, this hand. Because I didn't have, I, did, yeah. I wanted like the inks to be able to be rough and like work that way. And I, I thought love the, this ringless hand. <laughs> rough and rowdy. Rough and rowdy. Just like a cowboy. Oh, yeah, this is a very bold piece. I didn't even use the animator pencil on my piece because I wanted to close the lines and I felt like it would have gotten real choppy. Oh, you followed my advice. <laughs> yeah. Accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> Hours uh, ago, <laughs> before you said it. <laughs> I didn't follow your advice. I do run into some line closing issues later on. 
<laughs> I really like the shapes in this, like the the yeah. flowing of the the shirt. Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you. I was really happy with the with how quickly the pose came out. Um, most of the stuff that I don't like about it is stuff that I just didn't have time to make better. Mm. Like this hand ends up looking like a real disaster, and I I don't get time to fix it. It's <laughs> you could have just put some rings on it to yeah to hide, hide. it yeah. Put it, I, no, you know what you have to do is you have to put it in the pocket. Just hide it. Just hide that yeah. hand. Yeah, you should have somewhere. had it behind his back. Yeah. Oh, I could have got away with it too, but yeah. it didn't. I think, uh, I think it's still pretty good. Yeah, I, like I think it. it's still a nice hand. I think you're being yeah. hard on yourself. It just looks like 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 an old person's hand. Like it's very <laughs> but gnarled. But I'm kind of into it. Um, so you did this... render it more than the other hand, which was a yeah. bold choice, but I don't think it's bad. I also spent so much time on it. Like I'm <laughs> more than three fourths the way done with my time here. Um, and I, I did have a moment where I looked at the clock and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Look I straight to... at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's like, well, I get to color this at all. Um, but I do. I go with very simple, simple colors. Wow. Uh, but I. Yeah, I, I felt like there was a, a looseness that I got that I liked because I had to rush and I have a hard time with loose line work. So it was nice to have a chance to do that. Loose style on a tight bot. Damn straight, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's this, the next Orville Peck song. <laughs> this makes me want to have there be an Orville Peck comic book. Yeah, it does have Hell kind yeah. of that vibe. You should just release a comic book with his next album. You know I went purple and orange. And then I wanted to get rid of the outside inks. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. Because I think it looks really cool. Um, there's one spot that I forget to do, and I'm still <laughs> furious about it. Uh, you'll see when I get there. The inside of this arm and the hat, uh, I, didn't, I didn't do the inside of that arm. Wow. wow. That's okay. Wow. I like it. It looks, it looks like Not it's, okay. it's shading. <laughs> Boo. 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 Throw this in the trash. Get I'm it out garbage. of my sight. No, uh, this is good. So I do that. Then I darken him up a little more for more contrast. And uh, yeah, that's it. I thought wow. it was just lovely. It turned out really fun. I love the pose. Yeah, you did great. Fun pose. Even if I ran out of time, there's a lot of things I would have fixed. But it was fun to do. Hell yeah. I, I feel like the advice that I, like what I was thinking of when I was doing this piece was like, I'm really happy that I that I practiced gesture drawing a lot. Because <laughs> like the pose, I was able to kind of come out with something vaguely workable really quickly uh, just because of like past gesture practice. So if you're listening to this, that's my advice to you. Practice gesture and you can get through the pose and sketch phase a lot faster than uh, if you don't. Thanks for listening. Uh, yeah, that's mine. Who's next? I believe it's me. It's Karina. Karina, why don't you tell us what you did? Tell us what you did. What did you do? What did you, what did do? you do? What did you do? I hated it. <laughs> so I'm a pretty slow worker. And I was interested in this challenge because I was like, oh, I can do something really gestury. And I I did. I drew like a full body thing and very gestury, really wild ink. And then I was like, I don't really like it. And then I kind of sat on it all night. And I was like, actually, I hate it. So <laughs> um, Fair. very late. You can see my clock in the screen recording. Oh, my God. 2.38 a.m. I decided I can't sleep until I redo a new piece. <laughs> wow. Because I just dedication. didn't like it. So, you know, I don't want to put out something I don't like at all. So I decided to just do something much simpler and that I knew it would be really easy, which was literally just like drawing a fucking face <laughs> and <laughs> figuring out how to dress it up because I can't draw that fast. I'm just not a fast artist. That's fine. So, yeah. Uh, are you ready to get into it? I had a miserable time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I just drew, I don't know, guess who? Guess who I drew at 3 a.m. last night? <laughs> is it Schmidt? 
Is it nah, Nando? It's Nando. Yeah. Because I figured nice. I'll just do what comes really easily. I'll just draw a dang face of a character I draw often, although I haven't in a while because I've been busy. And so this is just me figuring out how to plan it. And then I just like don't do most of what I put here. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Get come there. into this with much of an idea. I just put on some music and started a stopwatch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just figured I'd do kind of like, you know, another passive portrait <laughs> and yeah. then figure out how to dress it up as I go. I didn't come in with much of a plan. I just kind of came in. I realized afterwards that I also had already taken my melatonin before starting this piece. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then just made the decision <laughs> to like That's get our... out of bed. <laughs> Your melatonin Next. was like, why? Why did you eat? Why? Why did you, why did you consume us? It's okay. Us? It, take, it takes a lot of melatonin to put me down, so... <laughs> That wasn't I a think... big deal, but it did occur to me afterwards. I was like, oh, yeah, I already took like three. That's weird. <laughs> I think we but... just thought of our next uh, speed draw challenge. <laughs> we all Everybody all takes some sleepy. melatonin. Yeah. Sleepy speed draws. But yeah. Um, and I was just trying to work really fast. I don't like working fast. It's not I've fun. Spent, I've spent my whole artistic career being rushed by people so yeah <laughs> it's not a fun feeling and i didn't like having to do it uh, uh, in my own home <laughs> <laughs> wow. i'm sorry this it's was my okay. idea and i didn't realize that it was going to bring up so many bad feelings <laughs> in people <laughs> i i was looking forward to it but then i got really stressed out about it because i was just i was just like i want to do something cool and then I had a lot of trouble with it because I, I, it's just hard to work fast. The other and like problem I said, is, this is my second attempt. Yeah. So. The other problem is when you say, I want to do something cool because then nothing is cool enough for your dumb brain, for your dumb mm -hmm. artist yeah. brain. It's like nothing will suffice. This isn't cool enough. So that's my own fault, I guess. But It's like you put too much pressure on yourself because I did the yeah. exact same thing. <laughs> Julia gets me. Yeah. <laughs> we get each other. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I still... Here's the thing. I don't dislike what came out. I just don't, I just don't consider it great work for myself. I think that's it's yeah, boring. Sure. But I tried my best. So this is just me meticulously outlining things. Making sure they're closed because I am not painting in that color. Not today. Not last <laughs> night. Not today, Satan. <laughs> not a few hours ago. <laughs> um, but I was, yeah. I was telling Julia that I felt like the, the purpose of this challenge was less to make like the coolest thing and like flex on everyone and more to show what can be accomplished in a very short time. Yeah, no, I agree. But I still have standards. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> but the fun thing I did is that I didn't want to bother drawing in that heckin' arm pose. So one, I just blocked in a silhouette. That's it looks a fun. Cool, good tip. That's a yeah. fun yeah. trick. And Which then, again, just like makes the composition that much more interesting. Yeah. And then I decided to snazz it up by adding some stuff. Um, Ooh. to also cover the arm, <laughs> but, um, cause for Nando, his character motif is tiger. So I just drew in some tigers real quick. Cause I think those Whoa. make for a nice, a nice thingy to have. <laughs> Look at these Hell little yeah. tigies. Oh, it's so cool. We wow. Love, we love Karina. an impressionistic tiger. It's, it's <laughs> super yeah. dope. I do for real though. Uh, this Thank owns. You. The graphic design quality makes it seem like a sort of like dream thing that you would see in a cool like sci-fi movie. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is um, dope. I know about myself that when I do non-digital work or work that isn't quite as polished, I I go a lot looser with it. So I decided to lead more into that for this one and just Hell yeah. just heck it up and make it look kind of cool. Um, add in some shenanigans. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. you got so many get, cool screen tones. I gotta get these screen tone brushes. <laughs> I remember to download them at some point. They're fun. I still had access to them. Add I love that a screen tone refraction because 
Yeah. If you ever want to look like you really know what's going on, remember to put a refraction in your character's glasses. People find it very impressive. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was thinking the second you drew the line in for the refraction. I was like, damn, she even remembered that. Um, oh. And limit color palette to pull it all together and then yeah. decide, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and then do it again later. <laughs> that's design, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and just figuring out what looked neat. I went for a more designery approach with this one because I figured eh, it's just a face. So I just wanted it to look nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I think it's so cool looking. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'm glad you think so. I feel like you were oh. definitely too hard on yourself. Yeah. Aw, thank oh you. <laughs> this is um, with the melatonin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you make a choice. Um, but yeah, I just had I just didn't know how to do the eye what design to put in the eye, but I wanted to tie the color of the tiger into the eye. It and... still feels like you <laughs> like had more time than I did. Like um, the, the amount of decision making you're doing mid drawing. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I was basically like, I gotta draw this dinosaur. <laughs> I just gotta draw this dinosaur. It definitely and then... went by faster than I expected, especially because the first time I did it, like I said, I did like a full body pose and mm -hmm. I was like doing the panicking at the end of it. I was just like, what did I do? I'm out of time. And there were just a lot of mistakes that I couldn't deal with. But with this one, I felt like I had a lot of time in the end where I was just kind of like fucking around and putting things down and erasing them. And then this is where I finished. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, yeah this is I think rad it's so cool. Thank this is you. like a poster you could sell. I'm, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I was just thinking the whole time watching, like, why didn't I just do a head and shoulders? <laughs> I mean, you needed you, to make the man dance. Yeah. But I could have got so much more done with the head and shoulders. You made a bold decision. Maybe if I had just cut back at certain points, because I will say in my full body drawing, I did also do impressionistic tigers. <laughs> I just nice. think I think they make a nice visual element to really snazz up a piece, oh, but yeah. maybe that slowed me down. <laughs> so I decided to go with that, but rein it in and just do a head because that's really easy, and I know I could do it quickly. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell is, yeah! Is that your advice to people, or do you have different advice to people? My advice to people. What, for working fast? Yeah. Uh, I don't like it, but uh, it, I guess if you're trying to simplify things where you can, you know, focus on silhouettes and shapes and yeah. stuff. Yeah, nice. Because, like I said, that's what I did for the body, and it made it easy. And I just covered it with an even bigger shape. <laughs> shapes rule. I don't rule. know. Yeah. Freaking but love, shapes. love I, shapes. I much prefer to spend the amount of time I feel is necessary on a piece. So it was just a very challenging challenge for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I agree with you. <laughs> but people often ask us, like, how we manage to make something quickly. Yeah. So I Fast it'd lines. Be, it'd Move be good fast. To, yeah. Get that smooth line art. <laughs> if, if you don't have to work quickly, then don't. Yeah. Yeah. But if you do have to, there's ways to do it. <laughs> yeah it's not uh, impossible it's just unpleasant <laughs> speaking of unpleasant hi <laughs> is that Damn. because i feel unpleasant or because i am unpleasant i don't know because you felt unpleasant <laughs> about this challenge you're very pleasant as a human correct being. answer <laughs> um so you guys know how in Hukara no Go, it's about a, a boy who gets possessed by a go ghost and he like crushes it at go whenever the ghost is there uh-huh um so I what happened now. to me with this <laughs> challenge was that i got really excited about an idea because i always use these <laughs> speed draw things as challenges to like personal challenges like i want to see what yeah. i can accomplish if i do this like really really push myself um i got really excited i was flipping crushing it i was doing great and i ran out of time and it wasn't nearly done so uh the <laughs> the artist ghost that possessed me got frustrated with me and left and stole all of my artistic ability yeah, it cursed you uh, yeah can i just say before you continue yeah that julia told me she ran out of time 
And I was like, oh, what happened? You just like, you know, didn't, didn't get done drawing. Like was, was it too complicated? And she was like, no, the drawing was done seven minutes in, but the animation took too long. Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so the thing that I was trying to do was I was trying to do a lightly animated image. How dare you? And I, I, I think didn't know I we could do that. I said, you're an asshole. <laughs> he, did, he did literally say you're an asshole. <laughs> oh, my God. We got. I got to see what you came up with. Well, so this one, um, I basically spent all of yesterday trying to draw something. And I, I keep thinking of the Game Grumps bit where they just go, I fired. And then I missed. I fired and then I missed because it was just like I'm drawing and it's bad. It's drawing and I hate it. And it was just like I did I think about 10 of these challenges but got like 10 minutes in on each and every one of it and was just like I don't know how faces work. I don't know how eyeball what is anything. Dude, that's 100 minutes. How many of those were animated? Uh one of them. God. <laughs> Only one of them. Is so this one no, this one, this one um, was my I gotta get something done piece <laughs> that I did wow, about same hat. Yeah, that I same did hat. about an hour before uh, we jumped on a call together. So oh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I was I was the late one today. Should we get it going? Yeah. yeah. All right, three, two, one, go. The thing is, is that I generally do work quickly. Um, yeah, I work very fast, but since I had no ideas and nothing was clicking in my brain and like nothing was coming out the way that I wanted it to, I worked very slowly. Are these feats? <laughs> so yeah, so I I did um I had to do a sketch. Usually, if I work quickly, I'll just skip it. I'll just skip the sketch and go straight to final inks, as everyone knows from my dorkly days. Um, <laughs> well, you do your your green. Your green sketch, your blobbies. Yeah, yeah, but usually that's like a circle for where the head is, and that's it. Yeah. But this one, I I had to sketch out a little bit more detailed than I I usually do. Um, so this is me mapping it out. the The idea that I had was like uh, like a a scene based off of uh, a part of the game Kentucky Route Zero, uh -huh. uh, where they go to this bar called uh, Hard Times. Just writing, just writing oh. letters upside down. Hard times is served there. It's actually called the Lower Depth, is the name of the bar, and it's a super cool scene. Um, but yeah, I I tried to do a, a moody kind of illustrative piece for this one because that's more my happy place. But uh, today there was no art happy place for me. <laughs> the art is still gone. Sad places only. Only, only bad place. <laughs> <laughs> the art is gone. Uh, nothing I'm drawing is coming out good. I tried to do like a warm up portrait or like somewhere in the middle of yesterday's like oopsies. I was just like, what can I really just like crank out? I can do portrait of dudes. Let me just crank out a dude portrait so I could feel better about <laughs> myself. Nope, didn't work. It came out like hot garbage. So I just had to admit defeat at some point yesterday. And I played video games instead. And I had to give I, myself a breather. I like, <laughs> even though that was hard for you, I feel like um, it's maybe nice for people to hear that even you sometimes can't draw a handsome man face. Yeah, I think that even gives, I. Like, yeah, <laughs> happens to gives everyone. People, you know, people watching who might be struggling with art. It's like you know, it happens to everyone. You get you get a bad art day every so often where even your, your even Julia. Art comfort place is bad. <laughs> yeah. And then you just go play video games and that's and valid. Then, yeah. mm -hmm. You really, I mean, I think if I have any advice for anyone, you can see- <laughs> There I, he was. He was I, there, <laughs> the ghost of your handsome man. Well, that's when I was slouching as hard as possible in my chair and I literally held my pen by the tip of it and just went, ah, and just uh, oh. scribbled on my screen. <laughs> wow. But um, I was, oh God. I also haven't like slept well in a, in a while. So my brain is just in mush town. So this whole this whole thing I think was just unfortunate timing. It's these are just more and more we've gotta do the melatonin challenge. Like, <laughs> this is I'm I'm convinced. Um, I think 
<laughs> yeah. Everyone, now all the comments are going to be melatonin challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, the 3 a.m. melatonin challenge. <laughs> <laughs> just draw anything <laughs> when you fall asleep you're done that's literally what i do every night <laughs> well you're gonna crush it then it's fantastic um but yeah i think if i had any art advice for anyone it's just like if art isn't clicking that day uh it's not meant to be you know your brain is a muscle just like the rest of your muscles like your arm your biceps and whatnot and you got to give it rest and yeah. sometimes you just you can't sometimes you can't lift can't yeah. force it you can't lift you can't draw just you gotta take a, a brain break take a brain break Ain't and that that's the truth. okay yeah and that's all right it's gonna happen it happens to everyone when it happens to me i feel like laying on the floor and staring at the ceiling forever because <laughs> it's just it's so Aww. frustrating to me so yeah, this one this one was a product of unfortunate brain timing, but <laughs> it is what it is. Would you would you say you were having a hard time? Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say that. You you you've already gotten so much detail in here, though. Yeah, th there's yeah. so much there's so much happening. The fact Why that did you do so much text upside letters. down? I don't know. I don't know. I messed up. Why didn't you, you can rotate? rotate the canvas? Because I, I, I needed <laughs> at least one little itty bitty challenge for me to not take this as a complete failure for myself. Yeah. So I did a I did a, a flippy do. I was about to say it doesn't always have to be a challenge, but then I had the same problem. So you know what? I'm not going to yeah. say that. <laughs> it doesn't always have take to be a challenge, but like you know, sometimes sometimes you you have that expectation of yourself. Yeah. Sometimes you want a challenge. Yeah. But ideally, you want to rise to the challenge and not be like, this challenge done messed me up. Yeah. Oh, and then I did all of the coloring of this in, uh, I looked at my clock and I had like six minutes left. So, oh, whoops. That's a mood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it brought me back to like my making comics days and it was just um, how, I, how I crank things out fast. It put me back in that headspace. <laughs> I really uh, took yeah, some, everyone down some dark paths with this yeah. prompt. And it put me in the same headspace of um, the time that I had to color like um, a minute and a half of my thesis film in one night and I hadn't slept Ugh. in three days. Oh my <laughs> yeah. God. It was like no, that. thank you. <laughs> the next challenge is going to be the, the 24 hour speed draw challenge. <laughs> No, <laughs> you have to work for twenty four yeah, hours. You have to work straight. for twenty four hours. <laughs> twenty four hours Mine total. Is, it's just me. <laughs> just show shows yeah. my Pokemon Showdown screen. <laughs> I'll draw like a line and then do six games of Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> do another line. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. I'll sit that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Melatonin challenge or bust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> draw I, some real sleepy stuff. Julia, this is so good. Yeah, I feel like this yeah. is really cool, though. This Thanks. is, like, so conceptual and, like, moody. In the game, the main character, Conway, his leg gets turned into a, a glowing orange skeleton leg, and it's kind of the coolest thing. Oh. oh, so that's the reflection of the so, skeleton. Yeah, leg. the reflection. Wow. They're standing under the hard times. Nice. The, the lower depths bar. That's rad. I feel like, yeah, I like so that. cool. For 30 minutes, this is so much to execute on. Yeah. I think you are also oh, too hard on yourself. Letters. Thanks. <laughs> you didn't even rotate the dang canvas. What were you going to animate? Yeah. So I had drawn this lyric that it. So. There was a band that I used to listen to in high school, Pretty Girls Make Graves, and they have a song called All Medicated Geniuses, and mm -hmm. they have a line that's uh, the kid with the golden arm, he admits to the forest fire, and I always just pictured this, like, small-town baseball player standing in front of this, this, like, raging inferno, and I really wanted to finally illustrate that with, like, an animation, and so I had the illustration done, and then I wanted to animate his um, shirt his like baseball shirt and oh my God. the flames. 
in 30 minutes. Well, now you in can just minutes. do that. <laughs> I can just do that. Let's yeah. do an animation challenge. Oh, Christ. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. I'll, I'll try, I've never, like, I do not have the patience for animation. So this that'll be me, <laughs> me coming in all, all grumpy and sad. <laughs> <laughs> it would be fun to try. Yeah. yeah. We all no. have access to something, right? Yeah, Photoshop. Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll just, do your I'll, thing. just be, I'll just be messaging you, Karina, every step of the way. Like, how do you make a thing look good when yeah. it moves? I'll come in grumpy because Nathan was messaging me constantly <laughs> and I couldn't finish mine. <laughs> so next time we'll do the melatonin animation challenge. That's coming 24 up. 24 hours. 24 hour melatonin animation challenge. <laughs> Uh, but thanks for watching this one. If you have any other ideas for art challenges you'd like to see us do, put them down in the comments. If you want to support us, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash trophy. You can go there to do yeah. that. We yeah. got a merch store with DFTBA. Links for all that in the description. Hit the Twitch. like. Do Twitch. the Twitch. Trophy on Twitch. Trophy show. Twitch.tv. We're, We're sorry. 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 sorry.